right? If we're doing the equation, okay, x plus 10 equals 15, it's a pretty basic one. You guys know automatically, what is x going to be? Five. Five. Okay, we know that 10 plus something, if you wanted to get 15, 5 will work. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we know that 5 will work, okay? So, I put this down here as like a little picture, okay? I'm going to explain to you why last night on your homework and why yesterday we were talking about this, that you take away, your, we end up doing take away 10 from this side, take away 10 from this side, and you get x equals 5. And you guys are like, you know that you have to do 15 minus 10. That makes sense to you. Well, yeah, I'm going to do 15 minus 10, and I'll figure out what that x is. I'll figure out what that missing piece is. You guys already knew it was 5, okay? But this is the part, taking away the 10 from 10, that's kind of confusing. So I'm going to kind of compare it to a scale, like a balance, so it'll make sense. We need to balance our equation, okay? All right. The first thing that I want to review do I have x plus 10 equals 15? Okay. Why do I want to get rid of the 10 on this side anyway? Why don't I just want to like bring the 15 over here and make it like a big party with all these numbers and the x? Why do I want to get rid of the 10 and isolate the variable? Why do I want to do that? To make it uh, To make it equal, but also... So, it's only the x and the variable? Good, so then you only have the x and it will be equal to the answer. answer. Okay, because if you bring the 15 over here, then you just have a clutter of stuff. And you're like, okay, I have everything here and it's equal to, I don't know. Okay, so let's look at my picture here. Okay, so we know that x is 5, correct? Yes. So here's my x. We're adding it with the 10. It should equal 15. Okay, we know x is 5, so I'm going to put 5 here instead. Is 5 and 10 equal to 15? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. right yes. now it's balanced. Okay, but remember, do we really know that that's 5 yet? Let's pretend. Do we really know that it's 5? No. no. Okay, so I'm going to cover this up. So I have something, when you add 10, you get 15. Okay, let's say you really didn't know, you're like, I don't know this is because you will get really big numbers, but like, I don't know what the answer is right off the top of my head. Okay, so this is what you want to do. You want to get x by itself, so say x equals, boom, boom, your answer. Okay, so what do I want to get rid of? Everybody, the 10, because I want to get x by itself. Okay, so if I get rid of 10 off of this side, Hmm. Now let's look at this. I really know this is 5, right? Yeah. Is this equal anymore? No. No, 5 is not equal to 15. So since I took away 10 on this side, remember I took away 10 on this side because I want to get that x by itself. Right now on this side I would just have x, which seems pretty awesome because I'll just have my answer. So if I took 10 away on this side, how do I make it equal? What do I have to do to this side? Take away, take, away, take away 10. So these are my 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to take these away to make it balanced. Okay, so minus 10. What's 15 minus 10? 5. 5. Is x equal to 5? Yes. yes. And check this out. We knew our 5 from the beginning. Is 5 equal to 5? Yeah. 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 yeah, so that's why you take it away on this side. You've got to take it away on the other side to keep it balanced. And you're taking away the one that's with the variable, because boom, now you have x equals 5. You have the answer. Okay? Thank you, cameraman. Woo!